What is performance tuning? Making optimal use of the system using existing resources is called performance tuning. What are the different types of tunings? CPU tuning. Memory tuning. IO tuning. Application tuning. Database tuning. What mainly database tuning contains? Hit ratios. Wait for events. What is an optimizer? Optimizer is a mechanism that will make the execution plan of an SQL statement. Types of optimizers? RBO, rule-based optimizer. CBO, cost-based optimizer. Which init parameter is used to make use of optimizer? Optimizer underscore mode equals rule RBO cost CBO choose first CBO otherwise RBO. Which optimizer is the best one? CBO. What are the pre-requested to make use of optimizer? Set the optimizer mode. Collect the statistics of an object. How do you collect statistics on a table? Analyze table EMP compute statistics or analyze table EMP estimate statistics. What is the diff between computing and estimate? If you use compute, the FTS will happen. If you use estimate, just 0% of the table will be read. Data dictionary follows which optimizer mode? RBO. How do you delete statistics of an object? Table EMP deletes statistics. How do you collect statistics of a user slash schema? Exec dbms underscore stats dot gather underscore schema underscore stats, Scott. How do you see the statistics of a table? Select number underscore rows blocks empty underscore blocks from dba underscore tables where tab underscore name equals emp. What are chain rows? These are rows, it spans multiple blocks. How do you collect statistics of a user in Oracle Apps? FND underscore stats package. How do you know what SQL is currently being used by the session? By going v dollar SQL and v dollar SQL underscore area. What is an execution plan? It's a roadmap of how SQL is being executed by Oracle DBA. How do you get the index of a table and on which column the index is? DBA underscore indexes and DBA underscore AND underscore columns. Zero which init parameter do you have to set to bypass parsing? Cursor, cursor underscore sharing equals force. How do you know which session is running long jobs? By going v dollar session underscore long ops. How do you flush the shared pool? Alter system flush shared underscore pool. How do you get the info about FTS? Using v dollar sysdat. Where do you get the info on the library cache? v dollar library cake. How do you get the information about a specific session? v dollar misstat. How do you see the trace files? Using tprof usage, tprofalal.trclkld.txt. What are the types of hits? Buffer hit and library hit. What are the types of wait events? CPU time and direct path read. A table space has a table with zero extents in it. Is this bad? Why or why not? Multiple extents in and of themselves aren't bad however, if you also have chained rows this can hurt performance tuning. How do you set up table spaces during an Oracle installation? You should always attempt to use the Oracle Flexible Architecture Standard or another partitioning scheme to ensure proper separation of system, rollback, redo log, data, temporary, and index segments. You see multiple fragments in the system table space, what should you check first? Ensure that users don't have the system table space as their temporary or default table space assignment by checking the DBA underscore users view. What are some indications that you need to increase the shared underscore pool underscore size parameter? Poor data dictionary or library cache hit ratios, getting error or A00. Another indication is steadily decreasing performance with all other tuning parameters the same. What is the general guideline for sizing db underscore block underscore size and db underscore multi underscore block underscore read for an application that does many full table scans? Oracle almost always reads in k chunks. The two should have a product equal to or a multiple of. What is the fa fastest query method for a table? 
Fetch by Rowad. Explain the use of TPROF. What initialization parameter should be turned on to get full TPROF output? A TPROF tool is a tuning tool used to determine CPU and execution times for SQL statements. You use it by first setting timed underscore statistics to true in the initialization file and then turning on tracing for either the entire database via the SQL underscore trace parameter or for the session using the alter session command. Once the trace file is generated you run the tprof tool against the trace file and then look at the output from the tprof tool. This can also be used to generate explain plan output. When looking at v$sysstat you see that sorts, disk, are high. Is this bad or good? If bad, how do you correct it? If you get excessive disk sorts this is bad. This indicates you need to tune the sort area parameters in the initialization files. The major sort is parameter is the sort underscore area underscore size parameter. When should you increase copy latches? What parameters control copy latches? When you get excessive contention for the copy latches as shown by the redo copy latch hit ratio. You can increase copy latches via the initialization parameter log underscore simultaneous underscore copies to twice the number of CPUs on your system. Where can you get a list of all initialization parameters for your instance? How about an indication if they are default settings or have been changed? You can look in the init.ora file for an indication of manually set parameters. For all parameters, their value, and whether or not the current value is the default value, look in the $dollar parameter view. Descri describe the hit ratio as it pertains to the database buffers what is the difference between instantaneous and cumulative hit ratio, which should be used for tuning? Hit ratio is a measure of how many times the database was able to read a value from the buffers versus how many times it had to reread a data value from the disks. A value greater than 0 to 0% is good, less could indicate problems. If you take the ratio of existing parameters this will be a cumulative value since the database started. If you do a comparison between pairs of readings based on some arbitrary time span, this is the instantaneous ratio for that time span. Generally speaking, an instantaneous reading gives more valuable data since it will tell you what your instance is doing for the time it was generated over. Discuss row chaining, how does it happen? How can you reduce it? How do you correct it? Row chaining occurs when a varchar value is updated and the length of the new value is longer than the old value and won't fit in the remaining block space. This results in the row chaining to another block. It can be reduced by setting the storage parameters on the table to appropriate values. It can be corrected by the export and import of the affected table. When looking at the SDAT events report you see that you are getting busy buffer weights. Is this bad? How can you find what is causing it? Buffer busy weights may indicate contention in redo, rollback, or data blocks. You need to check the vdollar weightstat view to see what areas are causing the problem. The value of the count column tells where the problem is, the class column tells you with what. Undo is rollback segments, data is database buffers. If you see contention for library caches how can you fix it? Increase the size of the shared pool. If you see statistics that deal with undo what are they really talking about? Rollback segments and associated structures. If a ta table space has a default PCT increase of zero what will this cause in relationship to the SMON process? The SMON process won't automatically coalesce its free space fragments. If a table space shows excessive fragmentation, what are some methods to defragment the table space? And only in Oracle.02. The use of the alter session set events immediate trace name coalesce level TS hashtag command is the easiest way to defragment contiguous free space fragmentation. The TS hashtag parameter corresponds to the TS hashtag value found in the TS dollar sys table. Inversion. The alter table space coalesce is best. If free space isn't contiguous then exporting, drop an import of the table space contents may be the only way to reclaim non-contiguous free space. How can you tell if a table space has excessive fragmentation? If a selection against the DBA underscore free underscore space table shows that the count of a table space's extents is greater than the count of its data files, then it is fragmented. 
You see the following on a status report? Redo log space requests. Redo log space wait time zero. Is this something to worry about? What if the redo log space wait time is high? How can you fix this? Since the wait time is zero, no. If wait time was high it might indicate a need for more or larger redo logs. What can cause a high value for recursive calls? How can this be fixed? A high value for recursive calls is caused by improper cursor usage, excessive dynamic space management actions, and or excessive statement reparses. You need to determine the cause and correct it by either relinging applications to hold cursors, using proper space management techniques, proper storage and sizing, or ensure repeat queries are placed in packages for proper reuse. If you see a pin hit ratio of less than zero. In the YesStat library cache report is this a problem? If so, how do you fix it? This indicates that the shared pool may be too small. Increase the shared pool size. If you see, see the value for reloads is high in the YesStat library cache report is this a matter of concern? Yes, you should strive for zero reloads if possible. If you see excessive reloads, then increase the size of the shared pool. You look at the DBA underscore rollback underscore segs view and see that there is a large number of shrinks and they are of relatively small size. Is this a problem? How can it be fixed if it is a problem? A large number of small shrinks indicates a need to increase the size of the rollback segment extents. Ideally, you should have no shrinks or a small number of large shrinks. To fix this just increase the size of the extents and adjust optimal accordingly. You look at the DBA underscore rollback underscore segs view and see that you have a large number of wraps is this a problem? A large number of wraps indicates that your extent size for your rollback segments is probably too small. Increase the size of your extents to reduce the number of wraps. You can look at the average transaction size in the same view to get the information on transaction size. You have room for each to grow by zero more extents each. Is there a problem? Should you take any action? No, there is no problem. You have zero extents showing and an average of zero concurrent users. Since there is plenty of room to grow, no action is needed. You see multiple extents in the temporary table space. Is this a problem? As long as they are all the same size, this isn't a problem. In fact, it can even improve performance since Oracle won't have to create a new extent when a user needs one. Indexes. One difference between local partitioned index and global partitioned index. In local partitioned index, there is one to one relation between da data partition and index partition. I.e. for each table partition, there will be on respective index partition based on the same partition key on table. But in global partitioned index, there is no one-to-one -one relation. I.EA table can have 20 partitions and the global partitioned index can have 4 partitions. Also the high value equals max value is mandatory for creating global index. 2. What is prefixed and non-prefixed partitioned index? If the index column same as the partition key or the leftmost column of the partition keys, then we call it prefix. If the indexed column is either not the leading edge of the partition keys or not a part of partition key, then we can call it non-prefixed. Prefixed indexes will use partition pruning, but non-prefixed partitioned index will not use partition pruning. For global partition index, there is only prefixed index. Oracle doesn't support non-prefixed global partition index. 3. Can we create a unique local partition index? Yes, we can create a unique local partition index, but it can be created only on a partition key column or a subset of key column. What is a partial index? What are the advantages? From 12C onwards, index can be created on a subset of partitions. This can be used when we know about which partitioned are widely used, which are hardly used. This will save in saving storage space.